Phil, I can't give you your COVID vaccination oh. unless you pull down your leopard skin underpants. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. How it, much is it gonna hurt? It's gonna hurt a little. Oh God! It'll be oh. totally worth it. Totally worth it. Are you sure we have to do it today? Yeah. Oh God, oh God, oh God. All right. Okay, okay, be, okay. A, be a man, big boy. Pull big... down. Oh God, okay. All right, you gonna be a man. Okay, all right, okay. Not that bad. Oh, 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 a shot in the butt. Oh, oh, are you done? I'm not gonna sit right for a week. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh, god. Oh, I'm not gonna sit right for a week. All right, it's your turn to get your COVID shot, buddy. What goes around comes around. I'm gonna give it to you good no, too. No, no, hey, let's not share needles. Oh yeah, poor panty safety tip. Don't share needles, kids. Yeah, this one is mine. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to get you for that, Pat. Yeah, you'll you could have been a little more yeah. gentle when you got me bent over with my pants down, <laughs> showing me the 50 states over a barrel. All right. Be all right. What are you doing? Drop your trowel. So you don't have to get the COVID shot in your butt. I told you that. What? You don't have to get the COVID shot in your butt. Oh. Most people get it right in no. their shoulder. No, yeah, I, I knew that. I just thought it would hurt less if I took the shot in my butt is all. Well, it didn't seem like it hurt less. Well, you don't know how much it would have hurt. <sighs> That's good COVID shot. All right, thanks. Ah, good COVID shot leftovers. Yeah, <laughs> all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the War Fanny's Power Hour. This is Phil the Thrill, and as always, all that pat, we are fully Vaccinated war panties. Ow! How's it feel, Pat? Do you feel the power rushing through your veins? Yes, I feel that uh, COVID. Uh, oh, God. I can do anything is... now. I can do anything. <laughs> it's empty. Oh, God. But you know what I mean. I feel great. Good. Vaccinated. Right. Give me a kiss. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, War Panties is now fully vaccinated and feels good. How you doing, Pat? How you feeling? I'm doing great. I feel healthy. Anything big going on this past week with you? No. All righty then. Well, why don't we jump right to talking about what it means when we get fully vaccinated. Not only can we go back to licking the doorknobs at the airports and making out with one another, we can also are one step closer towards coming back to a dive bar near you, right here in the mean streets of Louisville, Kentucky. We're going to be hitting that bar scene. We're going to be playing our originals and all the folk songs of our land that we love so well. Isn't that right, Pat? That's right. We're going to dedicate this War Panties Power Hour to the miracles of modern medicine. Tip of the hat to the miracles of modern medicine. What do you consider modern? 20 years? Uh, you know, keep Penicillin? Keep Penicillin, um, that's fairly Maybe a hundred years? hundred years, yeah. When did they invent the lobotomy? I think that's the cutoff. After the lobotomy, modern medicine. The lobotomy, isn't that a dance? La la lobotomy, la la lobotomy, la la lobotomy, la la lobotomy. Hey, now, drool on your partner. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's right, folks. This one that goes out to modern medicine, we're going to play a tribute to all the doctors out there coming up real soon later today. So help me, please, doctor. I'm damaged. Pat, I think maybe we should give an update to everybody on the mystery of the anonymous love mail parcel that we received a couple weeks ago. We didn't address it in last week's Power Hour episode. An anonymous writer actually wrote Let me find it. Anonymous. Oh, here it is right here. That's never good. Was there a, a return address? No. There was no return address. Wait, let me see that. Mm. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. You know what this means. Usually when we get an anonymous mail, it's from, you guessed it, the reptilian overlords that run War Panties Corp! Oh, well, the, the people that the War Panties Corporations pay to track down these folks, uh, they didn't give us oh, an update. Oh, don't name. talk about um, the lizards! We did uh, dive a little bit further into the anonymous love mail parcel. Uh, as you may remember from two weeks ago, we originally thought that we had found some exotic pollen on the, uh, on the, on the uh, parcel, uh, implying that this uh, letter might actually be from the only place in the world where that type of pollen originates, of course. We did find a rare pollen sample native to islands off the coast of Central America. So what we're doing in the database is we're cross-referencing... Central America doesn't smell like cocaine. Pat! It was, uh, what? The Latin America somewhere. Central America. Uh, Deepest, what? darkest Central America. One of Pat's favorite places. However, upon uh, further research, it turned out it was just that sour cream and onion powdery things that they put on Pringles sometimes. So uh, apparently that trail went cold. Uh, however, we did follow up with our fingerprint analysis team... Uh, trying to verify if the uh, fingerprints were mammalian or scalar reptilian. Pat, do you have an update on the scales there? Did they find any scales, any shedding? Um, well, they might have found a couple of scales in the envelope itself, but uh, <clears throat> trying to determine if it was you know, one of the reptilian overlords <clears throat> or if it was just a, a, a snake that thought he would, you know. Uh, uh, we're still hot on the trail. The plot thickened with these new developments. Still haven't quite figured it out, but don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, we are on to it. And in the meantime, we actually had another piece of anonymous love mail parcel. Another clue? Put in the love mail bag. Um, these uh, mysterious anonymous love mail parcels. This one really, at like the end a, of the day, it smells like a hamster cage. Seems like a. Okay, here we are. War panties. Mm -hmm. Betty. Betty. It's not from Betty, it's. Addressed to War Panties, Betty. We got a letter on a tiny sheet of paper, so we know immediately that this person is small. <laughs> Dear War Panties, I want you to know how much I enjoy your power hour. I can't wait to hear your music out in the real world. Coming at you. The real world. I have a <clears throat> friend with diamonds on the soles of her shoes who loves to dance. I remember when I was slip sliding away on the dance floor listening to you all play. Hope to see you soon. You can call me Al. 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 Oh. Yeah, it says Al right here. That's the return address. It's Let me see that. Owl. That is Al. A L. Well, Al, thank you very much for your note. You know, sometimes Al is short for Allison. It could be a female. Hmm. Could be a male. Could be uh, a tweener. <laughs> We're going to have to get the fingerprints people on this. Yeah, we'll have to get um, the fingerprints people on this one. You know, Pat, with all this mis mystery and uh, a little bit of drama surrounding these mysterious uh, love mail parcels, it seems like whoever it is has a pretty kind heart. Hmm. Sounds like they love the rock and roll music and they love the War Panties Power Hour. Maybe our fear is unfounded. We really just need to come together under that rainbow and give each other a COVID shot in the butt and a hug right afterwards, you know? That's right. Well, Al, we hope to see you out at a, uh, a dive bar near you very soon as well. Pat, where do you think we should start booking our, our gigs for this summer? Uh, do you have any in mind? I've been thinking about this. I know we've been busy in the studio with our new uh, album we've been working on. <laughs> what, uh, any, any, any ideas where you'd like to play first? Ideally, it would be nice to play, uh, get a nice uh, garden patio gig to play uh, some, some of the rock music of our ages for uh, the nice people who are enjoying their dinners, maybe outside. Um, Ooh, a dinner patio gig. A dinner patio, or after dinner, you know, people are just eating some, uh, you know, some of the lighter pub fare and drinking alcohol. Tip your bartenders and your nurses who give you COVID shots in the butt. Mm. Well, a garden patio gig for this summer sounds nice, and we've played a lot of nice, but there's been a, there are a, quite a few nice garden patio gigs in Louisville. I think uh, 
Flanagan's there in the Highlands. And, the, and even uh, O'Shea's across the street. Those both, right across the street from each other, have really nice garden patio gigs. Might have been a few others pop up. Some have probably uh, closed their doors over the past year, but others have probably come in and filling in their places. I'm sure there's a lot of gigs out there. We just, uh, they have to see this video and they have to um, know what we're capable of. And that's why, <laughs> that's why we're relearning all of our old songs to uh, bring them back to the people eating food and drinking alcohol. <laughs> but yeah, Flanagan's, O'Shea's, no, in all seriousness, they have been, they are still open and they, they've been, you know, obviously hard times hitting everyone, especially the, the old gigs that we're playing at. And hopefully they're, they can get back to full capacity soon. We can get back playing. Gerstles, of course, that's all reliable. They have a great patio back there. Gerstles is wonderful. I wouldn't call it a garden patio. Still wonderful. Maybe a train track patio. Maybe a drunk college kid patio. Mm. Yeah. Maybe a drunk Pat patio. Phil, I feel weird not holding a guitar. Yeah, well, when we're uh, pretending to give each other COVID shots in our butts, it's hard to juggle holding a guitar as well. Hey, Pat. Speaking of that, do you want to go get our uh, acoustic guitars and play these kind folks a, a very special live in-studio performance here at the Ward Panties Undisclosed Basement Recording Studio location? Absolutely. Let's play one for the doctors. This one's for all the doctors and the nurses. I actually prefer nurses myself. Mm. The things they go through, they'll do anything. <laughs> this one's coming at you to all the doctors. Dear doctor. Oh, help me, please, doctor, I'm damaged. There's a pain where there once was a heart. It's a sleeping, it's a beating. Won't you please tear it out and replace it right there in that jar? Dear mama, please help me, I'm sickening. For today, is the day of the plunge for the girl I'm to marry is a bow-legged sow I've been soaking up a drink like a sponge don't you worry get dressed grab my mother and she poured me a bourbon so sour pull your socks up put your suit on Comb your long hair down For you will be wet in the hour So help me, please doctor I'm damaged There's a pain Where there once was a heart It's sleeping, it's beating Won't you please tear it out And replace it Right there in that jar. Yep. Oh, help me, please, doctor. I'm damaged. There's a pain where there once was a heart. It's sleeping, it's a beating. Won't you please step out and replace it? Right there in the daddy jar I was trembling as I put on my jacket It increases as sharp as a knife I'm bring in my pocket And there was a note My heart had jumped into my mouth Ooh. It read There's a pain, put my heart in its hole Oh mama, I'm crying Tears of relief And my pulse is now under control Yep
That was a good episode of the Power Hour, Philip. What's the Power Hour? Philip! <laughs>